He is known for being a poet, novelist, politician, and historian from the American South. His writings achieved great prominence during the 19th century, with Edgar Allan Poe pronouncing him the best novelist America had ever produced. Recognized as a major force in antebellum Southern literature, he is remembered for his strong support of slavery and his opposition to Uncle Tom's Cabin. His name is William Gilmore Sims. In the world of American literature, one name stands out as a legendary figure, William Gilmore Sims. Hailing from the American South, Sims was a poet, novelist, politician, and historian whose writings captivated the nation during the 19th century. His literary prowess was so revered that even Edgar Allan Poe himself declared Sims to be the finest novelist America had ever produced. Sims played a pivotal role in shaping antebellum Southern literature, leaving a lasting impact on the literary landscape. His support of slavery and his opposition to Uncle Tom's Cabin, a novel that criticized the institution of slavery, further added to his controversial reputation. In response to the novel, Sims penned reviews and even wrote a pro-slavery novel of his own. Beyond his literary achievements, Sims also made his mark in the political arena. He served as editor for several notable journals and newspapers, using his platform to express his views and influence public opinion. His involvement in the South Carolina House of Representatives showcased his commitment to both literature and politics, solidifying his status as a multifaceted figure of his time. William Gilmore Sims' legacy lives on as a significant force in American literature, particularly in the context of Southern literature. His writings and contributions continue to be studied and analyzed by literary scholars, offering invaluable insights into the complexities of the antebellum era. Sims' life and work serve as a reminder of the power of literature to shape perspectives and provoke thought, even in the face of controversy and differing ideologies. In the 19th century, William Sims emerged as a prominent writer, capturing the essence of Southern history and culture in his novels. From the pre-colonial era to the American Revolutionary War, Sims delved into the rich tapestry of Southern life, immersing readers in local color and captivating narratives. His first major success came with The Yemisee, a novel that garnered widespread popularity. Sims continued to publish a series of eight novels set in South Carolina during the Revolutionary War, including The Widely Read, The Partisan, and Catherine Walton. These books showcased Sims's ability to bring history alive, painting vivid pictures of the past. Sims's literary exploration extended beyond South Carolina. He delved into the frontier territory, from Georgia to Louisiana, in ten novels that depicted the challenges and triumphs of expansion. Richard Huddis, or The Avenger of Blood. A Tale of Alabama, and Border Beagles, A Tale of Mississippi, were among the works that transported readers to the untamed wilderness. His writings also encompassed the conflicts between Native Americans, Spaniards, and French in Florida. The Lily in the Totem, or The Huguenots in Florida, Vasconcelos, and The Cacique of Kiowa, offered glimpses into the complex interactions between different cultures, shedding light on a neglected aspect of American history. Initially, Sims faced skepticism from Southern readers, particularly in his hometown of Charleston, due to his lack of an aristocratic background. However, his talent and dedication eventually earned him recognition as the Southern counterpart to James Fenimore Cooper. Charleston residents welcomed him into their esteemed Street Cecilia Society, cementing his place in the literary landscape. In 1845, Sims published The Wigwam and the Cabin, a collection of short stories that included a portrayal of a loyal slave. Edgar Allan Poe hailed the book as decidedly the most American of American books, declaring Sims to be the preeminent fiction writer in America. Sims also dabbled in Southern humor, with works like As Good as a Comedy, or The Tennessean Story, and Patty McGann, showcasing his versatility as a writer. Throughout his career, Sims also wrote poetry, prioritizing content over form. In a letter to literary critic Rufus Wilmot Griswold, he expressed his desire to be original and true, even if it meant deviating from conventional norms. William Sims's literary achievements have left an indelible mark on Southern literature. His novels, steeped in historical accuracy and infused with local flavor, continue to transport readers to a bygone era, providing insights into the Southern experience. Do you want to explore more novelists? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.